Street racing is proving problematic for police in Canada. The number of charges laid is on track to now surpass last year's record in some parts of the country. CTV's Kamal Karamali reports. Rubber meets road. A mix of steel, speed and a surge of adrenaline. Heard miles away. All of it fueled by an audience while chasing clout on social media. Because if the view count goes up, eventually these social media platforms give you a cut of the ad revenue. And it can be kind of lucrative. Two hotbeds of street racing and stunt driving are neighboring regions Peel and Toronto. Last year, Peel police laid more than 1,700 charges, while Toronto police saw more than 1,400 charges. I got two cars racing. And both regions are expected to see a higher number of charges this year. It's an everywhere issue. A concern that cases of street racing and stunt driving are growing fast across the country and recorded online. Anybody that uh, wants to document their crime, putting other people's lives in danger, uh, certainly police wouldn't uh, say no to that evidence. In Edmonton, a struggle to stop the speeding when the payoff is public praise. Psychologists say the mix of adrenaline and validation on social media keeps drivers on the pursuit for more likes. That rewarding feeling that comes from your peers is really powerful for adolescents and young adults. A problem police will continue having trouble putting the brakes on as long as there's a way to show off the dangerous driving, even resulting in copycats. Every human has this tendency that if they see somebody in some situation behave a certain way, then if they're in that situation, they're more likely to behave that way. Police also putting part of the responsibility on social media giants to restrict and remove any videos that show dangerous driving, saying it'll make their jobs easier and save lives. Kamel Karamali, CTV News, Toronto.